And that breaking news, we are working to learn more about a suspicious death in northeast Portland where homicide detectives are on the scene. They are investigating. And we're going to switch to Lisa Balik, who's on the scene. What's the latest, Lisa? Jeff, I'm at the Crown East Apartments here on Northeast 122nd, where detectives are still inside the apartment where the man died, trying to determine exactly what happened. Now, police tell me they got a call this afternoon about 1.30 from the man's wife here at this apartment complex, saying he was acting erratically, throwing stuff around. He was by himself inside at that point. Police arrived and talked with the wife, but decided not to go inside the apartment, deciding that it was safer for them to stay outside. The man was alone, locked into that apartment. Did the wife want officers to go in and check on him? Well, she called for us to check uh, to check the apartment out and report the information. Um, but officers, you know, assess the situation as, you know, what are we checking on? Someone who's in their own home, who's upset and erratic, uh, but has committed no crime, has made no threats to hurt anyone, has made no threats to hurt themselves. Is that really something we want to go into an apartment and, and what if the person is armed? What if the person is upset and then all of a sudden the police are in there? No, so police left and they were called back again a little bit later. The wife had told them when she called again that she had found the husband on the floor unconscious. When police arrived, they found him dead. Now, police are talking with the wife, trying to find out what happened. The medical examiner will determine exactly how he died. But police say they are not looking for anybody at this point, although they are calling it a suspicious death. And again, the medical examiner will determine exactly how the man died. Police say there is no threat to the public. Live in Northeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.